All right, guys, so first of all, congratulations. Such a beautiful movie and a touching love story. What was crazy to me was I'm a history nut, and I had no idea about this political story, this love story. Uh -huh. I know you were a producer on this, David, but when did you each become aware of this whole thing? Uh, well, the reason I became a producer is because six, seven years ago, a producer showed me this book that he had the rights to, and uh, I similarly couldn't believe that I didn't know about this story. And not only that, but this amazing love story that felt so ripe for being told as a movie, and that's why I came on board not just as an actor, but as a producer, because I really wanted to see it uh, get done. Roseman, I walked out of this and I'm like, where do I find myself a roof? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, can, she is ride or die to the max. But yeah. what's amazing about it is when yeah. Ruth comes to Africa, how quickly the people accept her, even though she is the complete opposite of what they wanted to accept. Why do you think they accepted her? Yes, I mean, I don't think it happened that, that quickly. I think it was, uh, I think she met a lot of suspicion and I think she had a period of great loneliness there. Um, but in the end, I think everybody's suspicion was that it wouldn't last and that mm. she wouldn't stick it and that she would get tired and she'd, she'd go back. I think it was probably a feeling of that, that she was going to somehow reject what she'd set out to, um, to do. And she didn't. She, she really stuck it out. She, she learned the language. She, she fell in love with the country, I mean, whole, wholeheartedly. And I think those bold decisions you know, for instance, not to go to South Africa um, to potentially better healthcare, who knows, um, to have her child and to, you know, stay in Soretsi's country and have her child where his people would be having their children um, w w were things that really uh, um, endeared her to, to, to the community. And I, I, there's that moment, do you remember, when all the women come and um, sing yep. to her? Well, that was an unscripted moment. That, that they, they, the, the, the ladies of... Um, the local community who were in the film were just asked to come and lay fruit and vegetables in the courtyard of our house and they just did it singing this incredible kind of gift of a song it was very very moving so I sort of felt this great sort of outpouring of acceptance rather as Ruth might have done mm. I think <laughs> there's a moment in the movie David where you're giving a speech here in England and it has this Selma feel to it, almost when you were f doing Dr. King and Selma. Did you have any parallels between Soretzi and playing Dr. King and Selma? Well, I think both men obviously feel like they are fighting for a righteous cause. Um, the difference with, with this is that, you know, this man, Soretzi, is really fighting both for his love for his wife and for his country. Um, and so, f for me, in, in many ways, it was a, a more intimate story, even though the backdrop was just as epic as, say, what, what, we, what we have in, in Selma. And, and the, but it, it, everything boiled back to the feeling and the love and the connection he had to this other human being and how that was impacting certain people negatively in terms of their prejudice, but how ultimately it went to affect his country positively. One of the things I love is both of them discover their voice and how they can use the press to fight back. <laughs> There's such parallels to what's happening today. Talk to me about those parallels because we're seeing the same thing happen today, whether it's Hollywood, whether it's political figures, the press can be used to hmm. get your message out there, right? Hmm. Yes, I mean, I, I, being someone who doesn't do any social media, <laughs> I, uh, I feel I'm probably am not utilizing those opportunities as I could, but, um, you know, I, I was very interested and drawn to the fact that Ruth is someone who we see developing a, um, a public persona mm. during the course of the movie. You know, here's someone who's, who's been, had quite a sheltered life, who suddenly has the opportunity to live her life on a, on a, global stage which is you know not easy as as we've all made mm. that journey ourselves you know as actors you know you <laughs> the, 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 yeah. we, we've just done that you know suddenly had to be appear in public but I, I I think you know as we know it never works if you're just trying to get something for yourself it works when you're committed and passionate and you have to speak you know that's when it's compelling that's when it's real other than that you know people see through it mm. um, you know, if you're if you're doing some political speech or 
do-gooding speech, but it's really so people admire you, then you know, you've lost before you've begun. Yeah. If your goal is to just be liked. And Ruth's goal was not to be liked, it was because she had to speak. You know, she had to get her message across.